it's it's just it's just an amazing thing that that OA has been able to do is just bring so many different people from so many different walks of life and allow them to find common ground in one way or another. So I really think a great point that you made in there, and it's something that really resonated with me, is that you're not necessarily, you know, downplaying the efforts of these organizations that focus solely on at-risk youth or uh, the younger Black community there. I think in my case, those programs were extremely important for me growing up. Uh, I grew up in the area of McKees Rock. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with that area. And we had a ton of these programs growing up that I think, you know, basically were the building blocks for what made me the person I am today. Uh, I think what really kind of set that over the top though, are those organizations that focus on uh, diversity, the cross-cultural relationships there because as a young black man, and at that time, you know, young black youth, uh, growing up with these programs that focus solely on black issues and black problems, I didn't really have, you know, that broad set of ideas and viewpoints that were gonna help me take that next step that I needed in my development. And it was whenever I came across different programs, whether it be the Boys and Girls Club, uh, Orange Arrow, those are those times where you start seeing these different perspectives. You start having those tough conversations. And then from there, I think, you know, we're able to grow as leaders, as youth, and kind of as a society as a whole. Um, learning from an, a, a diverse group of people, right? Experiencing different cultures and how people are brought up, how people are raised, how people think and what their perspective is, right? There's very few organizations, I guess, in our society that does that organically. You think about all these corporations right now, you take a look around and all these diversity programs that they have, right? That's really not <laughs> promoting diversity through an organic way. And you look at Orange Arrow, you look at sports. And Orange Arrow is an organization that has done that since its beginning, has promoted a culture of diversity, right? You go all around the Pittsburgh community, and this is my experience, I volunteer in the Pittsburgh community, bunch of different kids, different walks of life. You're bringing them all together for different events, like. Um, the, the event at the movie theater or, or dining with gentlemen, different things like that. The point, I guess, is there's few, there's few organizations, few, few systems in society that support diversity organically. And Orange Arrow is one of them. Just like sports have done that for me in my introduction to Don Ted. Just wanted to comment, you know, what, what Nathan was saying. I mean, that's one of those things I noticed as well. Whenever I got to college and was exposed to a lot of different people and backgrounds, I mean, you grow so much when you have that. And I just think why not, you know, really focus on funding and promoting these organizations that can give our kids a chance to experience that earlier in life, because that's really important. I mean, even I think of myself going into college, having no idea what I wanted to do, because a lot of the things that I was taught was basically, you know, just making it out of my current situation. And so I think, you know, meeting people like Nathan, uh, Chad Wojtek was another one of the guys on the team who I was really cool with. They actually were some of the people who got me really interested in like the financial services sector and just like learning different things that I'm able to use my different skills to kind of take myself to, an, to another level in life. And then you just kind of build off of that by understanding different people, different cultures, different experiences, which we all need to navigate life in throughout our entire lives. I have kind of going off of what they said about um, building cross-cultural relationships and, and getting to understand different groups of people. I think one cool thing that Orange Arrow allows to happen is it gives all these people an audience of people who care and are invested in listening to what's going on in their lives, right? So when things relating to social injustice come up, and, and people maybe they don't understand from different walks of life, they are at least able to be there as an audience to listen and to, you know, let people share their voices with different groups of people um, from, from all walks of life. And I think that, you know, the way that Nathan was saying how it comes so organically and it comes from a place of caring and relationships from, you know, shared values and shared principles. Um, I think that that's really powerful. And I think that that does get overlooked, um, you know, when, when you get into some of these bigger corporations um, where maybe things are, are a little um, more 
just pieces of a puzzle then then really blended together. One thing I've noticed that OA has done from the beginning is by no means do I have a green thumb, but I want to use a gardening uh, kind of analogy. I feel like a lot of times when you get weeds, you know, in your yard, you want to get rid of the weed by getting just a little sprayed weed be gone, right? But if anybody knows anything about getting rid of weeds for forever, you got to get to the root of it. And I think OA has gotten to the root of the, the issue we have in society by presenting opportunities for the exposure that many uh, of the young people lack across the board from, from every race. Like I think, I think exposing them to each other and exposing them to the idea that we all can get along. We all have a lot of common interests. We all have some differences, but we can learn from them. I think everything that we've, that we've talked about, everybody that spoke talked about previously, I um, just wanted to add to that, that that's, that's the key thing that uh, Orange Arrow has done. And that's why I'm just so to be a part of the organization that we recognize that it we're not, have, haven't been a reactive group, but has been a proactive group already addressing the issue many years uh, prior. You know, I think what I've what I've learned about Orange Arrow and being part of Orange Arrow and, and, and how it directly affects uh, this issue is it allows student athletes, both in the college and in the in, in the grade school level, be able to give and take leadership from a multiracial you know, perspective. This organization has provided a space to give and take leadership in a multiracial way, which I think is important. It's, it's, just, it's just an amazing thing that, that OA has been able to do is just bring so many different people from so many different walks of life and allow them to find common ground in one way or another.